Bag fuel, baby. How did you think? What, I, what did you think when Rafa first got his name skipped to Malou? It's what funny. was your thought about? Because I remember when he used to do all that trick shit, niggas would be mad as fuck when he would be doing that shit you know and doing, doing, doing games. Know, it's funny because it's like, you know, it's, you know, like, like you think back and like you're super proud of people, right? Mm. Like, like we all grew up together. We all yes. grew up playing with each other, you know. Me, my brother, Deshaun, Ramar, his brother, and Rafa, like we was all on the same team playing for St. Catholic, you know, CYO team. Like we was all together. And, you know, and Rafa always had it. Like he, he he always had it. Ever since we was young, he always had it. Um, and then you kinda like you see it and you kinda hear it. And I'm like, I'm I'm with it, but I'm afar from it because I'm I'm here. Right in Jersey, and you keep hearing anybody talking about get to and I'm just laughing. I'm like, you know, the stuff he's been doing that's forever. Ever. But did you, you know, know that was him when they when they first started saying his yeah, name? Yeah, okay. I mean, I, you know what I mean. I didn't know it was him until I saw the video tape. I, 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 I was in, <laughs> in at, at, um, at Morgan State already. Yeah, no, he he got the tape from playing uptown. Yeah, I mean, the, the name for playing uptown. Yeah, playing uptown. So yeah. when they were saying his name and they was talking about skip to my Lou, I was like, who is this new dude? And then they whipped in the tape. I was like, that's Rafa. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And when he was doing all the shit, I said the same thing. I was like, that's all Rafa used to do on the court all the time and niggas would get mad. Yeah, no, and then he took it to another level yeah. up there. He, he spit some, you know. And I think it's it's kind of like you're watching people, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like he's up there playing with the dudes from uptown, you know, and they had it. They had it. You know, yeah. Ali Mo, all these those guys, you know, you know, like those those guys had it, right? And then you kind of do your own thing, you put your own flair to it. But now I'm super proud of Rafe, man. You know, super proud of Skip. Um you know, what he did, taking his career from a streetball player to the NBA, man, that was super dope, man. How hard is that transition? Because you have the flair as well, but then you've had to play in these systems. No, but he, but the player, no, he ready for play. Like, he was nice. Mm -hmm. He wasn't just a streetball player. Like, he was nice. Yeah. He, he could do both. Like, he was mm -hmm. nice. Like, high school, like, Cardoza, like, he did all that. Quadruple doubles. Like, he did all that, like, that. like mm -hmm. he did all that. Like, he, AAU, it wasn't really AAU back then. It was like, you know, some of the travel team. Yeah. He he did all that, bro. Like he, nah, nah, nah. Skip was nice, man. You know he don't he don't get the props he deserves as a basketball player. Mm. People look at him as a streetball player. He's a mm, basketball, basketball player, player, bro. Like he he nice, bro. Tell me about I, when I was watching it when you hit the winning basket, broke your ankle, whatever it was. It's a sweet moment. Yep. What was you feeling like? Cause you was you you was a pride and joy. You you, you sent them to the final eight. But you know the the crazy thing ran from that was it was like, you know it took me three years to get there right you know to the NCAA tournament right and now I'm, I'm on that stage, and all I'm thinking about is performing like gotta perform on this stage like that's the time that people make their names mm -hmm. right you know you can obviously during the season it's all good but when you get in the NCAA tournament that's the time you make your name you playing against everybody everybody's watching and I've been you know my first three years we didn't make the tournament so I was just like super focused on that. Right. We played Oregon the first game. You know, um, I had like 27, hit the game with a shot. Um, so like I'm all you know, gassed up. Obviously getting a lot of publicity right with that. Um, and then the next game, we playing Temple. Um, Temple was the second seed. You know, obviously they had like Pepe Sanchez, some guy that was very good. Yeah, I remember Pepe. You know, yeah. one of the guys that was very good was Kim, you know, Mark Karcher. You know, Mark he was, he was phew, nice, nice. Mm. You know, mm. and then, you know, I'm so I'm like, I'm, so excited to play against these guys because they the number two seed. Mm -hmm. You know, I had just hit the game with a shot. You know, we we feeling good about ourselves. So, you know, the first two three minutes of the game, I went down with my ankle. It was, it was it was it sucked because it's like you worked your whole life for that moment, right? Um, but then you know, with me, I, I'm 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 so different, man. Every negative, I look at the positive with it, right? Um, like I told my mother, I told my grandma, God bless her, dad, like I'm gonna be the first one in our family and our community to graduate, right? So. Once when I broke my ankle, now it's like, all right, let's focus on this, right? And I, was, you know, I graduated, and then the rest of history, right? My daughter went here, she graduated. Now I got my nieces, I got my cousins. Everybody mm -hmm. now, that's the standard, right? Yeah. But before that, Nobody it wasn't, cared about you know Kyle. what I'm saying? So, at the table. So obviously, yes, I wanted to make the lead, thought I should have made the lead. I worked my butt off to do it, but like, God put me in a different space. Now, I right, now, here you go. Because, you know, you know we, we from the same area, and... Everybody knew you was going to the league. And the fact, like, you and S, I know y'all brothers. Y'all resiliency is different. The average person don't have it. They go into a shell. And to, if your ankle don't happen, you in the league. Ain't yeah. no question. But it's a crazy thing, right? Mm -hmm. So it's, 
I talk to young guys about that right now. Like, mm. like and 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 I, yeah, asshole. Randy. <laughs> I don't call him Randy. Randy. My name is Randy. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you know, but for the show, I'm gonna call it. You know, we're asking, I'm Randy you know on the show still. Yeah, they still call saying? him Randy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But um, but it's like like how we grew up and where we grew up is like it's almost a blessing that I didn't make it. Right, and that sounds crazy, right? You guys, let me stay with me. Stay, mm -hmm. you know, stay with I'm listening. Me for a second, to you. Right, it's like because at that time, not mature, not understanding what's going on, the wolves around me, not understanding what's going on. So now, you make it. Now it's like I, like I'm. It's a good chance I would have got set up. Some things would have happened. And he know I'm talking about set yeah. up, right? Mm -hmm. So mm. and not and it ain't from my people. It's uh, we was wild. We like, like, like yeah, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, we, we it's was the environment that we are in, mm -hmm. right? And the, the environment that we was, you know, um, from. And I'm saying this with all love, yeah. because that's how we grew up. Like I got stuck up when I ain't had nothing. And imagine I had something. You, you feel what I'm saying? So, with that being said, it's like at that time I wasn't ready for that mentally. Mm. You know, physically, absolutely, I was ready for it to leave. You know, mentally, I wasn't ready for it. Now you kind of. Fast forward to now, right? And now it's like I, I'm in a position now. Now I know what to do. Mm -hmm. Right now I know how to build a foundation. Right now, now you get a, a foundation in my grandmother's last name. Now you kind of put this aside for this, you know, you know this LLC. Now you do this, you do yeah. that. So now I'm in a position to say, okay, now I know how to help and give back. Then it was like, mm -hmm. all right, yo, yo, come on, let's go shopping. Oh, let's go to the club. Oh, we don't, you know, spending mm -hmm. wild money on stuff. It's like, nah, now we know how to invest it. Now we know how to be smart with it. You know what I mean? And that's a, and that's a, you know, that's a gift and a curse about everything in the situation. You guys know, y'all in a situation where yeah, nah, you know, people who just they come out the woodworks, right? Yeah. Um, so mm. with that being said, it's like, yeah, absolutely super disappointed that I ain't make it. Um, but I had a good career. Man. I, I played 10 years overseas. Um, I did my thing and I always wanted to coach. Um, got in coaching a little earlier than I expected, but you know, thought kind of rest is history. Now mm. and now we're here. But you maximized the coaching. I saw you as an assistant coach for years. Mm -hmm. I was shocked. I was one of the few people that didn't even know he was going to be at St. Peter's. I woke up and he was at a press conference. He was a head coach. Mm -hmm.